I've been tidying up some used staves. This was a bit of Austrian U from a guy called Gunter who sold it to my mate John Davies. Uh, it was originally a lot wider but of course it was a quarter of a log so it was a sort of triangular section like that and it's, e it's easy to look at a log and think oh there's plenty of width at the back I could get two bows out of that but by the time you've trimmed trimmed off the triangularness, you've taken off the triangular point and the sides, you've actually just got one good clean stave. It's an easy mistake to make, you think, oh I saw that down the middle and I'll get two good staves. You then find you've got a wafer thin belly and you haven't got two staves. It's a bit like this one you see, this looks lovely and wide doesn't it? It's rather characterful putting it politely, some huge knots there. But when you actually look that around the back, on the belly side if you like, keeping that back flat how it would be, you can see it's undercut considerably. There's virtually nothing, there's, there's all this heart wouldn't hear missing. So I think that was a bit, again it was from Gunter, I think it was given to John Free as a like an off cut from the side of a log that was probably no good. But for someone like me, it represents an interesting challenge. I mean, worst case, probably get one good billet, maybe two. Best case, might manage a, a character bow sort of flowing around here. If we make sort of this face the back, so it's going to be a bit narrow. Sort of English longbow. Ooh. 80 pound maybe something like that then we get on to a couple of other staves I think this is I think this one might be from Gunter as well and this is a much smaller and it was a, an entire round section of U, a sort of U pole if you like and he wanted to know what to do with it I just said well if you just cut off trim off some of the belly side could have taken more than that off really so that as it dries any splits will come out towards this side and see what we can do with it and he wants that to be 80 pound 85 pound at 30 inch draw well I think that's a bit of a stretch really although it's got quite a clean back so I might start working on that I was going to start on this piece really scruffy bit of English U uh, for my mate Rob Poynton. You've got a big knot there which may limit the overall length of the bow but that was coming out that way. <coughs> and this is the sort of thing that people post on Facebook. I've got this round U, you know, branch, limb, trunk, whatever you want to call it, that's about this diameter how do I turn it into a bow? What can I get out of it? Well, my first advice is always find the cleanest face you can. The cleanest face to become the back of the bow. And you can see on this, yeah, there's sort of knots. There's plenty of knots, but they're not too big. And it's not as bad as the side I chopped away. I cut away the side I didn't want so that any drying checks will appear coming this way. Get it up to camera here. So you can see this drying check here, well hopefully you can. That will have radiated out from the centre of the trunk, of the limb if you like, and come this way, rather than going out onto what will become the back of the bow. So as this is all chopped away, most of that crack will disappear. So this is what I'd, I'd call it a stick bow. You see, people ask about bows. In fact, there was a post on, I was on a UK, UK Bowyers Facebook group. Now the bloke had pestered me to get on this group because he obviously wanted to start this group. And I warned him that a lot of these groups degenerate into nonsense, talking about historical supposition or things that nobody knows about. Anyone, anyway, someone posted asking what was Robin Hood's bow like? Was it short or was it long? Well, nobody knows. And Robin Hood didn't exist as such. She's a conglomeration of loads of stories and mythical figures. 
in someone chipped in saying oh we bought back a horn sinew composite from the um, Crusades well no that's a modern Hollywood reimagining of the story no as far as we know he had he had a bow they wouldn't have called him an English longbow or a longbow they were just bows the GNAS hadn't invented its dis um, definition of longbow then so anyway you'd have had a bow anyway I, I got castigated for being disrespectful and taking the mickey basically so having been someone moaned at me and said what's this bloke's problem I thought well I'll post something meaningful so I hypothesized that a good start point would be 80 pound draw weight 30 inch draw maximum you could shoot it at 28 inch draw it'd still have enough pokes to kill a deer or a man armed in chain mail you could easily make it out of you from a stick like this with relatively easily accessible tools the actual problem would be the string and the arrowheads but every village would probably have a stringer and an arrowsmith anyway so I'll probably make that sort of bow out of this I also said it would probably be a 70 inches tall something like that but if you look at the history could easily have evolved from the Welsh short bows or the bows they had in 1066 at the Battle of Hastings so I reckon it could be anywhere between five foot and six foot but they'd just be called bows they weren't long bows or anything else anyway I got suspended from the Facebook group so I said sod you and left basically because I was contributing more than anyone else and people can find me on the YouTube channel or on my blog. Uh, it was just a bit ironic having begged me to join and, and then they, people let it degenerate into, you know, theories that can't be proven. Next thing you know, someone will be asking, what was Legolas's bow like? Or what do elves use? Yeah, let's try and keep it real. So, I thought what I might do is follow the build along of this stick bow again stick bow it's just my name but it's my name for something that's roughly long bow shape but made from more of a stick than a than a nice chunky stave but I might look at this one as well might do them in parallel this has got a much cleaner back uh, but you can also compare Austrian U and English U I don't know I might not do it I make videos when I feel like it, or when I want to rant and bitch about the injustice of the internet. Uh, yeah, stay safe everyone. That's going to be interesting, isn't it?